All right, we are at 1135 Northeast 2nd Place. Walked in the front door. This is your garage. Ramp. Washer dryer is outside in the garage, which is typical for houses in Florida that are built before the 90s. I don't know why. Can't I can't tell you why. Honestly, I've asked a lot of people. Why? Why is that? Here's your kitchen. There you go. So, looks like a Corian countertop. It's got some seams showing. Oven could use uh, replacing. Fridge. It's got a little rust on it. Could use replacing. Um, cabinets look okay. There's a little damage um, here. There's damage up there. Um, but workable, workable. So I believe this house needs a new roof. So I'm going to be looking for uh, water damage. So when you walk in, you basically have a good sized living room area. You come to the right, you have got what I'm guessing is a master bedroom with two good sized closets, not walk-in, your average closet. Bath has, um, they've been covered with something. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, again, the same countertop. And the caulking needs fixed here too. Same with the kitchen. Step up to the tub. I don't know why that would be. Looks like a Jetta tub. No idea if it works. Tiled in here. So this would be the master. Laminate flooring, not wood. A couple spots where it's coming up a little and then it looks out over the pool so I did read in the report the pool would, is um, not to code right now because there's no fence around it they lost the screen in the storm I'm sure pool cage and um, on this house the seller is doing no repairs it's as is and there are some obvious issues right here that need to be looked at I would get a qualified home inspector out to check um, everything over really good. There is a thermostat. Looks like a smart thermostat, possibly. I don't know. Okay, here is some water damage coming in. Yep. Hall closet. That's attic access. Carpet in the bedroom, doesn't appear too bad. There's a fixture there, um, so you could put a ceiling fan in and a light. Tile floors, and here is your spare bath. Tile floors, little guy here, hello. sure what's happening here. Looks like it had some dirty water in it. But otherwise, uh, as long as it's cleaned, it doesn't look too bad. Could use a cleaning. All right, again, let's see. I see some attic insulation in that vent. Second bedroom. So it's a three bed, two bath. Pretty typical on here. The master's on one side, uh, two others and a spare on the other. I'm not seeing water damage in here, but again, I'm seeing stuff coming out of the AC vent. 
and another closet pretty deep goes in there yeah you can see the water coming through here probably during Ian it was quite a storm and there's probably not a house in Cape Coral that was not affected by Hurricane Ian the whole town was covered with blue tarps the next coming weeks and there's still some blue tarps out there because the roofers it'll they said it's two or three years before they get all the roofs done that need to be done oh so here's a second living room wow so this is kind of a nice little bonus space um, light fixtures loose electrical socket i mean and another bathroom so it's, this has three full baths again elevated step up and this would be open. well i don't know what that is because i can't get it open oh i don't know what that is but they had the bodies so third bedroom i mean third bath mm. So as an investment property for someone who is a fixer-upper. Oh, that was just the pool door, pool bath. That door goes outside um, to the pool. Fence, uh, the shed is, looks like a teardown. I'll go out there in a second. So here is the house from here. <laughs> you can see daylight under that door, which down here, you want your house insulated. The damage there. So hard to know exactly what is going on in the attic without getting that inspector up there to climb through the attic. This is wood siding. I would have to look to see if it was, um, wood siding is, ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna look to see if this is a wood frame house instead of block, which if it is, you'll wanna do a termite inspection big time. Okay, so this is where the pool cage would have been, right around the perimeter of the fence. Uh, I see a lot of chip tiles laying in the pool. So, over there, some pool damage. Don't know if uh, that's the only issue with the pool. Again, oh, there's some pitting. Looks like they tried to repair something there. So, yeah. You would have to have a professional come in here and take a look at whatever they did there. A friend of mine right now is going through this. She had to have her entire pool drained and the whole thing re, um, re, um, I don't know what you call it, I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, it's not inexpensive if that needs to happen. Maybe they can just do a patch, I don't know. It looks like they tried to do a patch. So there's a chip there, a little crack, a little fence here. Um, okay, carport is being held up temporarily with these, well, it's not a carport, the lanai. So the gutters are a little damaged. All of this outside uh, looks like possibly hurricane shutters, tracks. Not really sure what that is. Damaged, maybe they didn't have hurricane shutters. Why it's so torn apart. Okay, outside needs paint. And again, this is wood. I'm thinking this is a wood frame house, yeah. And it's, it's a little rotted, so she's going to need a little love. Um, we 
There's your pool filter. Again, you'd want to have a qualified pool expert out here to take a look at that. It's a little rusty, but that doesn't really mean a whole lot down here because that's not unusual. There's your lot lines. Here's your neighbor. Neighbor's on the other side. So this obviously has had damage from the hurricane and it's a tear down, I'd say. Or, yeah, she's she's a mess. And I don't know who, yeah, the neighbor's fence. This is pretty typical in Cape Coral. It doesn't normally look like this, but everybody's fences, anybody that had these white privacy fences, they are all over the neighborhood. So big backyard though for pets. It's a nice size backyard. Fence in that side and you'd be good. And there's the shed. Yeah, that, that needs to come down. I would say there's pieces of the fence that probably was at one time around that pool over here. So that is it for the interior. Let's see. Try not to be too boring. softener system which is good up here you are on um, well water and I will tell you one of the reasons I need to explain to you the um, yeah this is a wood frame house I can tell by the window right there it's not block so that is that's why this house is so inexpensive uh, with a pool it looks like maybe it's had some maybe a little neglect over the years and then on top of um, hurricane coming and just uh, sorry there you go that wood is all rotten right there right. nice all the neighborhoods in Cape Coral look pretty much the same I mean same houses everywhere new construction everywhere you look just tons of um, new construction everywhere so it's a great little city you live in everything you can want here we've got like three aldi's unlimited walmart's farmer joe's um bells belks Oops. Black myself out. so and here is the front coming in the front door again That might be hardy siding, which is good. Hardy siding is kind of like a waterproof, which would be good, but the back was not. And the roof definitely needs a replacement. And we're back in. So that concludes our tour today, ladies and gentlemen. You let me know if you need to see anything else. Um, the list of repairs that are known uh, is attached to the listing and I will email all that to you. So yeah, if you've got a hundred grand to fix it up, it's gonna be a nice little house with a pool. Pool homes in Cape Coral are going for 450. Easy. But this is wood built and not block. So I'm not hundred percent sure it's a good investment. Just my two cents. I think a block home in Cape Coral is better. The wood homes, um, you know, we have termites just like any other place, so. All right, sorry this is so long. I just wanted to make sure I covered all bases. And uh, you guys have a great day, and if you have any questions, get with me.